Go ahead, Craig. Craig Gabriel from Australia. Ash, your thoughts on today's match and how concerned did you get serving for the match and, you got, and Carla broke you and then you ended up in the final set? Yeah, I, um, no concern. Uh, I think more than anything, it was a it was a great battle. I mean, in that the game where I was trying to serve out the match, I just missed a few too many first serves, and Carla was able to take the game on and uh, and hit some incredible uh, returns. So I think we just we just kind of accepted that and moved on. And again, she played a great tie break. Um, she's a hell of a competitor, a hell of a fighter, and it was it was um, it was a privilege to be able to share that moment and share that court with her today because I, I hadn't had the opportunity to play Carla and it was really special to be able to experience what she can bring um, from the other side of the court. So I think um, all, all credit goes to her for for her uh, resilience and and her nature as a competitor to be able to come back from what the, come back from the adversity that she has um, and to be able to have that moment with her was was nothing shy of remarkable. And on that point, um, what did you exchange words at the end? Um, and it was very nice of you also, as, as would be expected, the way you applauded her off the court also. She she deserves nothing but the best. And I, I mean, I just said to her, it was a pleasure to, to share the court with you. Uh, and, you know, she's an exceptional person, uh, a great fighter, a great competitor, and, and very well loved and respected in the locker room. And she's going to be sorely missed. And I, I just wanted to, to give her the appreciation that she thoroughly deserves. And um, the crowd was exceptional. They, you know, they gave her a remarkable reception as well as she's walking off the court. And, um I kind of didn't didn't know what else to do. I wanted to I wanted to give her a hug and um, you know just say congratulations on, on a, an exceptional, remarkable career. Um, and I know she's still got a little bit to go, and and I wish her all the the very best. Okay, we'll take the question from Jacqueline Magne. Hi, Ash Jacqueline Magne from the Australian newspaper. Uh, congratulations. Can you just describe what the atmosphere was like on centre court? And if you can elaborate on the bubble, a couple of players have been commenting about how tough they're finding being in that bubble. And I'm wondering what your experience is. The, the bubble is all worth it uh, to be able to experience moments like today on, on a beautiful centre court and um, my, my first time playing under the centre court roof as well and um, when, when it was closing Carla and I were both just kind of looking, peeking outside and looking at it and it was just unbelievable and I think um, obviously to, to play on centre court today, to play my first round on there uh, against Carla was, was awesome and the, the bubbles are worth it. It's, it's what we have to do to be able to experience this tournament and um, to be able to play here, you, you do absolutely anything. You, you bend over backwards to make sure that you can prepare yourself in a way that you get to experience Wimbledon and play Wimbledon. So um, the bubble for me, certainly, certainly no issue at all. Okay, thank you. We'll go to Kate Battersby. Hi, Ash. Kate Battersby from Wimbledon.com. Um, at Roland Garros, Sloane Stevens, when she played, Carla spoke of the particular mental equation of playing Carla under these circumstances at this point in her career. Did you find that, um, uh, you know, any kind of mental hurdle today? Uh, it was it was a privilege more than anything uh, to be able to to be able to share the court with Carla and and particularly today to have fans um, was was really special to be able to play on centre court with fans. Uh, you know, the roof closed. It was just kind of one of those moments that you'll never forget. Uh, and I think for, for Carla to be able to experience that reception as she walked off the court was was awesome. It's it's exactly what she deserved. And um, to be able to, to share that with her was really cool. Okay, we take a question from George Sessions. I asked George from PA Media. Um, it's obviously been a while, hasn't it, since, since you played on grass in a weird way, sort of moving forward. You know, in this tournament, is it kind of nice to actually have had a free setter and get a little bit more time on grass moving, moving into the, the sort of next stage? Yeah, it has been a while. It kind of had felt like it hasn't been so long, though. Um, grass, grass court tennis has always felt like it's come quite naturally to me. And it's just about trying to go out there and play the best that I can on, on that day. And um, I thought at times that I, I served well and was able to control the court and for, for all, but... One little hiccup um, serving for the match. It was it was really good. I, I mean, I, we obviously go back and and um, debrief and, and go through and think of, of ways that we could improve and, and be better and and what we've learned from that match. But um, to be able to to run away with that third set in the end and and kind of um, get off the court pretty quickly was was really nice. Okay, Courtney. Uh, Courtney Nguyen, WTA uh, Insider. Yeah, Ash, um, just in terms of the anticipation for this opening match, um, 
I, yeah, I was just wondering if you could kind of dive into that. What was it like to kind of get ready for it? And just kind of, did you just want to get your tournament started? Like, let's get ready to go. Kind of what was the mentality going into it? Pure excitement. Uh, I think there was a little bit of nervousness, um, probably not knowing exactly how my body was going to feel um, genuinely, but we I know that I had full trust that we'd done absolutely everything that we could, but yeah, you just you just never know. Um, and to be able to to go out there today and play the way that I did was was really nice. And um, overall, it was just just a really solid match to to start things off. And I think it was just an opportunity to go out there and test myself against someone who is who has proven it over a, over a massively successful long career um, that you have to compete at the very best to be able to to match it with Carla. And um, I felt like I was able to go to that level today and to be able to match it with her, but. Um, overall, happy to happy to get a start here at Wimbledon. Um, play play that really solid match, and and now we kind of feel like we just keep working working our way through the tournament as best that we can each and every day. Okay, Jacqueline Magna again. Oh hi, Ash. The Australian Olympic Committee named the tennis team for Tokyo. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, and I'm just wondering uh, what you feel about that, and um, what your preparation will be after Wimbledon leading into Tokyo. I'm proud. Uh, I'm bloody proud to to be able to be a part of an Australian Olympic team. It was always a, a dream of mine, and to be able to to be officially named um, is is awesome. I've I've heard um, I've spoken to a lot of players, um, tennis players, um, about their experiences um, in the Olympics. I think Alicia and, and Casey probably the most. Um, and to be able to hear nothing but positivity, I just I just wanted to grab that opportunity. It's my, my first time and uh, I can't wait to, to get to Tokyo and, and start preparing. And um, like every other um, person on our Australian Olympic team, I think there's 480 odd of us, um, go out there, do Aussies proud uh, and kind of fight as one and be really united. Okay, now we'll go to Craig Gabriel. Ash, just continuing on the Olympic aspect, um, it's the strongest team Australia's ever put together with 11, 11 of your going. Um, so there's that part, but also the part that you are also going to be the first Indigenous player to be part of the Australian tennis team at the Olympics. So that's no doubt, I would say, extra pride. Yeah, it is. And I know that we've got um, we've got a really good group, big group um, of Australian Indigenous athletes um, in, in our team. So I know for me, it's 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 a first for tennis, but um, there have certainly been a lot of Olympic athletes that have paved the way for me um, in, in an Indigenous sense and, and kind of showing me that there is a pathway, that it is possible. Um, and, you know, I hope that all of us as, as one kind of, we're all united as one um, in, in our Australian Olympic team can pave the path for, for next generations coming through because that's that's a really important part of, of that Olympic spirit is knowing that it's just, you, you're in the fight, you're in the game. Um, we, we fight like Aussies do um, and you never know what can happen. And, and Ash, uh, what would be the, the the aspect of the Olympics that you're looking forward to the most? Uh, I'll have to tell you when I get there. I think any time you get to represent Australia and wear the green and gold, obviously, um, I just, I love it. Uh, I really, really love it. And I think um, I've had a bit of a taste of it at, at Fed Cup, but um, the Olympics obviously has so much history. Um, and for, for Aussies in particular, we have such a rich history in in our Australian Olympians doing doing exceptionally well, and I hope that this team, um, not just the tennis team, but all but all of us, um, can do Aussies proud at home, and um, you know this unique Olympic Games will hopefully be as successful as ever. Thank you very much, everybody. We'll conclude the press conference there. Thank you. Thank you.